All right, as usual, we ain't gonna waste no time. I told y'all, I'ma learn about politics, live and direct, in front of y'all. I have heard the term liberal. I have heard the term conservative. I'm not 100% sure what the definition of either is. I'm not exactly sure which one black people are supposed to be and which one black people are not supposed to be. I'm still a little confused on it. So I'm just going to basically listen to the talking point of these people and I'll see what I agree with and what I don't agree with. And if I'm misinformed on anything, feel free to go ahead and drop it in the comment section. But while you there starting that conversation, like, subscribe, comment, get this page to 10K in no time. Shout out to all of the new subscribers. Let go. For those of us who identify as conservative, right? I want to hear about your treatment within the black community, being an outspoken black conservative. And then I want to hear about the perceptions that you think people have of you. I made a statement on, online. I got you know, a lot of people commenting on it was, I didn't see true racism in this country until I became a conservative. Fact. Because I've seen hate, hate speech come from people. You're talking about left, left always talking about hate so much. I saw true hate coming from the left. And it was white yes. people calling me Uncle Tom. Pretty much white people telling me I'm not black enough, which is yeah. racist. Yeah. And, 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 and when you called them out on it and you say they're that was one thing I noticed. Like, the more I looked, there was more white people discussing the black struggle than it was black people. And I felt like that 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 was a major issue right there. Every time I turned around, they talking about uh, we we uh, voter ID goes against black people because we're not smart enough to know where DMV is to go and get our ID. I'm like, where are they getting this from? They like, well, they, they don't have access to the Internet because they can't afford Wi-Fi. I'm like, yo, are you calling black people poor? Like, and they're saying this stuff about us and no one's saying anything. And I'm like, who are these people to be speaking for us? I, I think we should learn how to speak for ourselves. I think we should learn how to control our actions. Uh, and we need to conduct our own shit. We, we don't need nobody else speaking for us. Have your own thinking mind. That's one thing we're going to get from this channel is that it's perfectly okay to have your own thinking mind. Yeah. That's how the left still is. Mm -hmm. And then I oh, have family members, like she said, my aunts that don't talk to me anymore. anymore. I have high school friends, students of childhood that mm -hmm. don't, don't want, you know, don't talk to me, unfriended me. And a lot of white friends. Politics be this serious that y'all be like losing friends and shit over who the hell the president is or what your ideals and morals are? Like, you lose a whole friend over it? What they're saying and what they're acting. That's so why before we move friends. forward, uh, by a show of hands, who is disappointed with the Barack Obama presidency? I grew up poor and black in Akron, Ohio. All right? I went to one of the worst schools in Akron, Ohio. I went to the military, risked my life multiple times, okay, to get every single thing well, that I have right now. There is no reason that every single black kid on the block can't do that same thing. Yeah. Oh. Talk that talk. I stand on that. I believe in that. Once I've seen other people do it, it's possible. And black people have done a lot more than dribble a basketball, throw a football, or rap some lyrics. We have done a lot of great things. There's a lot of great black engineers, a lot of great black electricians and plumbers and inventors and a whole bunch of other things. There's no excuse. All we need is the information. If you could get the information, you can make it happen. I stand on that wholeheartedly. So you didn't vote for Donald Trump? I did not. What are the issues that you take with the president? So, um, just really quickly to um, a point that George said, right, that I feel like uh, the candidates that get being put up year after year after year keep hardlining us, where we're saying we're choosing the lesser of two evils, right? Where I think that it's really important that we see candidates that come from our communities that are talking about, like, for me, right, I'm 25 years old, um, my student loan debt uh, was due on Monday, still haven't paid that, right, because don't got the money to pay that right away. So thinking about what are ways that we see people who are experiencing the same thing, who are coming from our community, who also recognize the historical debt that this country has to black people and to people of color so that we can move forward. So we know that like none of us are free unless all of us are free. Thank you. So but uh -uh, no, when it comes to I don't know what the fuck he talking about. Like like, ain't nobody oppressing me. Ain't nobody got no shackles on me. Like, I, I, I grew up learning 
that black was strong. I grew up learning that black people were the creators of everybody on planet Earth. I was I, I grew up knowing that I, I was greatness, kings, queens, gods, goddesses. Like this, this is all I heard growing up. And and for black people to turn around afterwards and try to act like we still oppress, try to act like there's still a system in place that keeps us from doing anything. It, 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 thinking like that will stop us from doing anything, then we'll never be able to hire our own. We'll never be able to understand our struggle because we'll keep on complaining and whining and we won't wind up owning anything. No, go check out what Chameleon Air did. One of the black people who we don't like to speak about. We talk about the Jay-Z's and everybody else. Let's talk about people like Chameleon Air. Let's talk about people like Young Dolph, rest in peace. I'm not going to say he was the best example of everything, but to, to buy your kid a property every year on his birthday, a foreclosed property, so by the time they reach the age of 18, they're coming into 18 properties that they can use for leverage and take out equity. Uh, th these things are powerful. Master P starting his own businesses, hiring his own family. They had their own TV shows. They got their own ramen noodles for damn sake what can't we do what can't we do we just don't have the knowledge to apply it and the reason that we don't have the knowledge is because we too busy whining and complaining sorry for the rant but that that bothers me to see good strong brothers sitting there sounding like that no 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 one's stopping us we could do the same thing billy bob could do we could do the same thing that ahmed can do will it be a little bit harder because of the brainwashing that has happened to us since we was little that we can't do nothing yes can we break that cycle very fast yes it's a simple mind switch that no one's stopping you from doing nothing reach for the stars so you voted for Donald Trump? Yes. Would you mind telling us why he won your vote in 2016? At first, I really didn't know much about what Trump was doing. I just right. knew, okay, it ain't her. So I'm just going to vote for him. And I was still coming into being a conservative and all of that. And I just got converted to a Christian. I I'm looking at my Christian values and I'm growing as a Christian. And I'm realizing, wow. Now, again, my reasons for liking Trump has nothing to do with any of this. I don't I don't care about no Christian values when it comes to America. Um, I believe that when Christ came, the crisis started for black people. So when it, when it comes to religion, you guys are going to have to accept the fact that I'm not speaking on that. I'm not dealing with none of that. Um, uh, black people were enslaved in the name of the same goddamn book they want us to worship afterwards. And if you're not going to give me a savior that looks like me, I'm giving it back. That's just how I stand. That, that's what I stand on. So when it comes to this politics and shit, trust me, you're never going to factor in Christianity or Islam or, or any kind of religion to anything that I'm saying. I don't believe in none of that shit. Wow. You know what I mean? This man is really aligning himself with what we truly believe in. You know, and coming from the South, Charlotte, North Carolina, we're really Christians. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're my people from, you know, everything is based off of that. So I'm not going to support any party that's going to support abortion. You know what I'm saying? We just now getting kind of comfortable with homosexuality. You know what I'm saying? And also, also, you know, it's just like with marriage, you know, divorcing and everybody sleeping with every time thinking Harry, you know, in the South, it ain't like that. So it's like, that. that's just that foundation of Trump. But now going into the economy. I mean, I'm a businesswoman. I have my own financial consulting company. And oh, seeing what he's been doing to where my taxes are not that high and I'm not paying for what I came from, a.k.a. living off of food stamps and continue. And I got family on food stamps that continue to live off of it. And I know, listen, I came from the hood. I, came, I was just in the hood yesterday because my cousin just got out of jail, so I went to go see him. So, I mean, this is what I'm around every day. And it's like, my cousins got the same opportunities I got. All they know about is either they're going to make it in basketball or... They're going to have to just try to get some type of job and make it. I'm like, no, let's start a business. So, like, let's get this oh, chicken. Sis. Let's get into real estate. But let's do this that together. The reform is helping. You, do you see the difference in the mindset between her and the good brother with the glasses that's sitting right next to her? Can you guys see the difference in the mindset? One got that mindset where there's some mysterious uh, don't be a menace to South Central while drinking gin and juice. And you, you remember the white guy that was walking around with the white glove doing the checklist? Yeah, he believes in the boogeyman. That's what I like to call it. He believes in the boogeyman, some mysterious white man that's going to jump out of the woodworks and stop us from doing anything. Are there still some very segregated, I'll say? White people out here, for sure. Do they bother me? No, because I love black people and I stand on that. So if I meet a white person that seriously loves white people and doesn't exactly care about anybody else, I respect that. The same way I respect black people who only stand for black people, I respect white people who only stand for white people. I, I don't I don't get why I can have black pride, but he can't have white pride. And it's 
segregation if if he has white pride but I have black pride. That's kind of hypocritical right there. Like I can love my race to the point that I only got pride for my own. But if a white person chooses to have pride in his own, all of a sudden it becomes segregation. You guys know the R word that I want to use, but I don't want to say it on here because I don't want to mess the channel up. But I don't believe in that. I think that white people should be able to have white pride the same way that black people got black pride. Facts. I just don't think that it has to come with harming anybody on, on, on both sides. Certain people, you know. It's helping me. But it, yeah, but it's temporary. It's, you know, you know, you have the tax. Yeah, tax but cleaning your own business is yeah. not Listen, it's not, it's it's not, not temporary. temporary. Brother, you better talk that talk. Creating a business is not temporary. I don't know. Uh, oh, that's just temporary. Those tax reductions, that's just temporary. Well, well, we'll know that certain laws and certain tax reductions is how white people got ahead in society today. Some of those tax breaks, uh, the Homestead Act, there, there were plenty of things that got people ahead today. And they were supposed to be momentary. Live on this land for five years. After that, it's yours. Think small things like that lead to wealth in the future. So we got to stop sleeping on that and thinking, oh, that's just for today. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is this for me, because I was able to step out. And this is a chick who got a felony, who had five years probation, who got a felony for grand larceny, which came down from money laundering. So when I say I was doing white collar crime, I was out here in these streets hustling, scamming, oh, please, okay? And so what I did was I made a choice to surrender my life to Jesus and live righteously. And so what he did was he put me in a position to where now I can teach people about finances and how to get out of the illegal game and clean their money Girl, the right way, get their credit on point, get into real estate, flip Let's houses, go. and Let's live go. a good stewarded life with money. So now I'm taking my cousins who all sell drugs. All of my cousins sell drugs. If they not playing ball, they selling drugs. And if they in jail, they getting out to sell drugs because they too old for ball. So all all they know how to do is get money. So Ooh. how do you tell somebody who's been getting money all their life, oh, so now I'm about to work a regular job, like get paid and they're going to take tax mm. on my check? And then they don't even know where their taxes is going. So they just work 40 hours a week. They think they're about to get a nice little $500 check and say $250. Mm. They're like, wait, what? I'm about Holy to go cow, sell cow, drugs cow. again. So now exactly. I have to teach them how to get out here in the legal game and let's flip this money the right way. And again, the taxes that are placed on these businesses can either help us or hurt us. And who? Call on Jesus. That was a Negro spiritual she was spitting just now. That's the kind of energy that I love. That's the kind of energy that we need. That's the kind of plans we need. She came from not living right. She came from thugging it out. She came from being in these streets. And she elevated herself. No excuses. Let's go. And what Trump is doing is helping me teach my cousins in the hood how to move so that they can get money and not keep busting people upside the head for money or selling drugs to people. Mm -hmm. These people that are continuously living on welfare, we're paying for it. So the more you're giving them in food stamps, people. the more you're allowing them to extend their, their lifestyle in the projects, the more money is coming out of my pocket but as a taxpayer. People, um... No, to hell with the fact that it's coming out of my pocket. We can't build wealth if we're doing generation after generation and project buildings in room 3B done been in the same last name, family member passed down after each one passed away for generations and generations. There's no home in that. There's no equity in that. There's no leverage in that. There's no wealth building with that. There's no farming with that. There's no nothing that comes along with that. Nothing. Nothing. We, we don't need it. What we need is for black men and black women or, uh, to, to get back together. That's what we need. We need fathers and the household. We need uh, incomes that are rising because people don't have to pay for daycare uh, because they're homeschooling or, or, or because the father makes enough that the woman can stay at home. We need those kind of benefits. We don't need no extra handouts from the white folks. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't like going back to Massa to, 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 to beg for some crumbs. After I've already been given so much thanks to my ancestors who put that work in. Thanks to the older black people who got these laws in place with affirmative action and all of this other stuff. They, they, they lived on this. They, they getting this stuff for us. For us to not put it to good use. No, we need to put the information that we got to good use. Do what the good sister did and improve your life. Well, but as a taxpayer, and then now it's hindering my business. When now I'm not paying that much taxes, I got more money. So now if I need to say to home, yo, listen, I got five racks. I'm about to invest this into you so we can start working on your business. And mm -hmm. if we're going to let the money circulate, once it circulates, you can go. go out on your own. If taxes are taking that money, how can I take that five racks and give it to them? That's we, need, we need three million more of her. 
that's part of my problem with Donald Trump is he's literally making the rich richer. And what, the, what happens with that? The poor have to get poor. Raise well, change your mindset. Change your mindset. Maybe you shouldn't think about being poor. Maybe you should think about being rich so you can start to get some of these benefits. How about them apples? That, that should be even more of a push.